Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is Rinx and welcome to another edition of Poke Teams. In this video, we're gonna give a Pokemon team to your friendly neighborhood, Spider-Man. My first entry of Spider-Man's team is actually gonna be two Pokemon. The first two Pokemon I want to introduce are Jolkit and Araquanid. Giving a little bit of backstory, we're all familiar about Peter's backstory about how he got bit by a radioactive spider. So putting this in the perspective of the Pokemon world, he was visiting Oscorp and then he comes across a secret laboratory where it's filled with spider Pokemon. Some that we know and some that we're actually not familiar with that are undiscovered. Then he's discovered that there's this new species of spider Pokemon that has actually been crossbreed by other spider Pokemon. One of these spider Pokemon bit him and that's actually what gives him his powers. Several days have passed and he went back to Oscorp secretly and he's actually acquired this joke kit and a dew spider for research to figure out what happened to him. During his research, he's actually befriended the joke kit and dew spider. Giving his backstory, let's move on to each individual Pokemon. Joke kit is a very shy Pokemon and it's not necessarily a fighter, but it's very lovey with Peter that is very protective of Peter. He tries to do the best he can with what he can do, but he's very tiny. I mean, he's a very tiny little boy. He's so cute. But what Joe Kit lacks in strength, he actually excels in other things. He's actually helped Peter with his inventions. He also helps him out with taking out cameras and monitors because Peter, whenever he infiltrates a building he needs to get into, he sends out his Pokemon to kind of scope out the area. So with Joe Kit, he actually disables all the monitors and cameras around. Can you imagine this little tiny boy going around disabling all the cameras? Very cute. And then moving on to our second entry is our big boy, Araquanid. Dew Spider evolved into Araquanid very quickly into his research and actually bonded with Peter very well and actually taught Peter how to be very stealthy and it's kind of you know, kind of irony about it because Araquanid is very big. I mean, it's a very big Pokemon. But nonetheless, can you imagine him crawling along with the ceiling and... Oh, sorry. Just now, right now, imagine this. I'm looking at my ceiling and I'm actually kind of terrified of a giant spider at me. The next Pokemon I've given Spider-Man is a Halucha. This one fit very well for Spider-Man. Bit of a backstory. Halucha was actually a big fan of Spider-Man. He actually lived in an abandoned apartment and actually had a TV where he can see all the news relating to Spider-Man. And he didn't really believe anything of J. Jonah Jameson saying any bad stuff about Spider-Man. He knew that Spider-Man was a good person and he wanted to help him out. So he sought him out and offered his assistance to help protect New York City. Spider-Man uses his web to sling from one building to the next. But a little bit of those swings, he jumps in and he glides a little bit. Halucha kind of helps him out with that and he actually kind of glides with him too and it's pretty awesome. Another trait about Halucha is that he's very protective. Whenever Spider-Man has a hostage situation, Halucha kind of deals with that kind of situation. where He protects the hostages, making sure they get out of danger while Spider-Man is handling the main villain. Halucha handles the thugs and the goons that the main villain uses. Even though Joe Kit is Peter's partner Pokemon, Halucha is kind of like his second in command where he can rely on him on fighting a lot of bad guys to help him out. The next Pokemon I'm going to give Spider-Man is a Tyrogue. Tyrogue is a very strong Pokemon, very headstrong, very stubborn. He met Tyrogue as a wrestler when he was trying to earn extra money. And Tyrogue is a very strong Pokemon and it would constantly train. So when Peter became Spider-Man, Tyrogue actually helped him to fight because Tyrogue knows a lot of fighting style. So it felt natural that Tyrogue would be kind of like his coach and his teacher of teaching him how to fight. So ever since he became Spider-Man, they would train constantly and Peter has became a very good fighter. Maybe not the best fighter we know in the Marvel Universe, but he's adapted on surviving. The next Pokemon I'm gonna give Spider-Man is a Gligar. Gligar is a very happy Pokemon that he loves Peter very much. He actually considers him a very good friend. He actually kind of bumped into him when they were kind of gliding in the air with each other. And that's where the friendship started. 
This was another Pokemon that helped Peter on kind of like his web slinging and a bit of gliding. In a few variations, Spider-Man actually had a bit of wings underneath his arms and that would help him glide through the air. Another trait by Gligar is that he emits sounds to find enemies, so it's kind of like another way of trying to find thugs. And this one would catch you off guard where a thug is looking for Spider-Man and then the Gligar comes right at the person and it's just kind of funny and at the same time it catches you off guard. The last Pokemon I've given Spider-Man is a Monferno. Monferno is one of those Pokemon that actually taught Spider-Man how to fight and it loves to fight. There are times where he will actually fight some of Spider-Man's bigger villains like Venom, Scorpion, or even Rhino. Like it's kind of cute when it uses his tail to lift itself up and he tries to size them up and then his villains are laughing at him and then he actually ends up knocking them out in their Pokemon. Yes, the villains have their Pokemon too, but that's for a video for another time. To recap, we have Jolkit, Araquanid, Palucha, Tyrogue, Gligar, and Monferno. All these Pokemon seem to fit Peter's personality and also kind of physically where they're all very small, but they're all very strong in their own unique way. All these Pokemon are here to help Spider-Man in protecting New York City because they realize that with great power comes great responsibility. And that's it. That is Spider-Man's Pokemon team. What'd you think? Which Pokemon did you like for Spider-Man? Let me know in the comments below of which ones. Also, let me know of other characters I can give a Pokemon team to. Hit the notification bell to let you know when I have some more Poke videos to come out. Also, hit like, subscribe, but there will be links down below to follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you want to follow my day-to-day -day life. Until next time, my outlets, I'll catch you later.